Okay, it's going on about two years now since I've been telling you guys about these things. These things are everywhere. They're militarizing them. They've got them in police forces in other countries already, namely China, and they've already gone berserk over there like you would imagine they would. They've built these in the most incredibly creepy ways. They've got pinchers, pokers, twisters, biters on them. You can't knock them down. You can't tip them over. You can't outrun them. You can't outgun them. They're absolutely everywhere. But that's okay because everyone will still have jobs, right? Absolutely not. Universal basic income. I've told you about that too and nobody seemed to care. Now remember about six months ago I told you about the video, the documentary that uh, True Stream Media made called Obsolete and it was explaining robotics and all that other stuff, how it was going to replace humanity. Okay, I don't understand this. Give me one sec. All right. One of the tenets in their documentary was universal basic income, and nobody really listened. It wasn't flashy enough. It wasn't Kim Kardashian. It wasn't a car driving off a cliff, so forth and so forth. Okay, let's try this one. Ad Blocker was not getting along well with that particular one. Elon Musk, all the way back. Are you hey. shitting me? All the way back in November, Elon Musk has been telling people, a lot of people, Business Insider, government, world meetings, all these things that people like us aren't allowed to know about. Aren't those cute, the little squirrels right there? Yeah, I wish they'd go away. Elon Musk has been explaining how robotics are going to drastically reduce the workforce to the point where they're going to have to start giving out universal basic income. Which means we're all, all of us, worldwide, slave labor will be out the window because you don't need slaves when you've got robots. All you do is recharge them, and I guarantee you they've got some special out-of-this-world battery that lasts forever. We're just not allowed to have one. Everyone's going to get a minimal check because robotics are going to replace everything. Now, a lot of people are probably laughing. No way a robot can do my job. Well, I'll tell you what. Robots can write movies, and they already are. Robots can write books. Robots can paint art better than people. Robots can build faster than people. And now, robots are doing surgery. This robot, it's a robot first. It assists with tricky cochlear implant surgery. This is fresh off the wire as of today. For the first time, robots have successfully performed a tricky, delicate operation that helps an implant a hearing device into a deaf woman's ear. A 51-year-old woman who was completely deaf in both ears due to a rare autoimmune disease underwent an operation to receive a cochlear implant in her right ear to help her hear again. And it was done with the help of a robot. That's a first. You see what I'm saying? But all the underground labs that they have all over the United States and all over a world. These, these aren't rumors. These are legit. These guys spend all our money and all their time and all the military's time building these things with serious nuclear powered drills that not only drill through the rock, but they melt it, forming a glass like surface you think these things aren't loaded with robotics that we've never even seen before literally if some jackass like richie from boston can show you the latest robots happening at the blink of an eye you think they don't have shit that we can't even think of come on man this stuff is getting crazy and the fact that they're rolling out elon musk to soften people up so that they can find out about universal basic income everybody getting a check from the government you see what's gone on you see what we've allowed to happen they tricked us with rock and roll they tricked us with drugs they tricked us with everything and while everyone was looking the other way trying to make a dollar trying to get a new flat screen these things have moved in big time to the point where this is a real discussion now universal basic income and guess what Look what happens in the ghettos. 
people that don't have to work for a living, no matter what the, you know, no matter what the geographics are, no matter what the circumstances are, I understand a lot of people got screwed. When you live in a project that's surrounded by liquor stores, gun stores, and convenience stores, and there's no place to work, shit, it's hectic, right? Well, imagine that for everybody. Things will go bad shit. And they've already done testing with just using rats, giving them everything they want. They don't have to do anything except eat and breed. They go bad shit and start killing each other. Guess what's going to happen with people? When's the last time somebody held a door for you? When's the last time you walked down the street and admired something somebody had and they didn't say, what the, what are you looking at? You know what I mean? I live in Lynn, so that happens a lot. I was very surprised when I was out West how cordial people were. But in the Boston, in the cities, in Chicago, it's off the chains. Universal basic income is coming. These people have already made all the things. They've done all the work they have to do. That's why they're crashing our economy. That's why the national debt clock is off the chain. You see what I'm saying? And the funny thing about this is one of my subscribers pointed out that I did a video months ago with the national debt clock in it. Look how quickly it's running up. Well, when I did the video, the debt clock was actually higher than it was when he showed me the thing. So this isn't even accurate. They're messing with this, too. And we already know with all the markets and all the Fugazi gambling they do on Wall Street that it's all going away anyways. But at any rate, be prepared, be ready. And I'm not talking with a bug out bag and all that other shit, even though that's a phenomenal idea. Why wouldn't you have things ready to go at a moment's notice if shit went wrong? What I'm saying is get ready physically, get ready spiritually, teach your children and explain to your children to not go to school and tell people, don't go to school and tell the science teacher that you believe in creation because he's going to think you're a wacko. Don't go to science class and tell the teacher that chemtrails are real because he's going to think you're a wacko. But teach your kids. Your kids should listen to you over teachers. And we don't have that going on right now. People spent far too long letting their kids grow up watching nothing but television. Television was the babysitter. You know what I'm saying? Pick up the slack. Get prepared spiritually. They're going to try to pull this. There's no two ways about it. We told you about this before it was even a thing. And now they're going around talking to each other at conferences about this universal basic income. They're going to take away everybody's jobs and then try to pay you. If it even gets to that before they do that, they're probably going to start a World War Three. Because the only way you're taking America down completely without having at least the Midwest and the West knuckle up and pull out their guns and stand their ground because the east coast ain't going to do shit maybe down south will but northeast they ain't doing nothing they'll give it right up if you're going to take down the united states you got to start dropping bombs blame it on whoever they've already set the stage enough russia china north korea it doesn't make any difference you know what i mean but we've let this go on go on way too long in my opinion Start waking up your family members, even if it's a little bit, especially if you have kids and they're teaching them that common core. Take the time, teach the kids. I don't know. It's coming. They're making their plans. They're not doing that for no reason. Richie from Boston. Like, share, subscribe, or don't. I'm out.